Okay, so Overkill has recently re released uh, their game Raid World War II as a closed beta, and as a result, they have added three, no, five new weapons, three of which are firearms and two of which are melee weapons. Uh, this is, they're, they're actually very good weapons, minus the melees. Uh, for the melee, you get the new push daggers, which have uh, 30 damage, 30 knockdown, Charge time of 2 seconds, a range of 150, and a concealment of 30. So in reality, it's just as useful as a weapon butt. Next one is the Parabellum Pistol, which you can see here. I just wanted to preview it, but okay. Comes with the short barrel, which we can preview here. Short barrel. Uh, preview with the reinforced barrel. And preview as normal. You can get, you can add boosts, you can add an engraved uh, grip, which you can kind of see here, and you can add a pistol red dot sight, which, yeah, I mean, whatever. Next gun they have added is the MP40, which we can see here. I have added a laser and a fun nozzle equipment, or a funnel of fun nozzle uh, barrel extension. You can add, okay, so you can add ex barrel extensions, such as your suppressors and the like. Uh, you can add boosts. You can add gadgets like uh, your salt light, your tactical laser, laser, etc., etc. You can add your own sights. Very nifty. And you can add a folded stock to make the gun kind of look like this. Useful for uh, stealth, I suppose. And the final gun they have added is the Gallant Rifle, which is just like the M1 Garand. You can add a tanker barrel, which is great for concealment, apparently. You can add your barrel extensions, such as suppressors and uh, compensators. You can add a boost. You can add a foregrip, which will allow you to mount custom scopes. You can add modifiers or gadgets, like your lasers. You can add... Uh, your uh, direct punked magnifier gadget and the uh, Rick punk 45 degree sight. There you go. You can add sights, which, in my honest opinion, don't look all that well on this gun. Maybe it's just because I feel the way I do about this gun. Like, it's a fun gun, dude. And the mag pouch stock, which increases your total ammo by 11. As you see, this gun uh, with my current skill set is is actually pretty decent uh eight eight uh magazine total ammo of 72 rate of fire 600 damage 160 accuracy 84 stability 36 uh, concealment 20 threat 31 and a reload time of 1.5 if we look at the mp40 it's 40 80 60 80 68 44, 24, 10, and 3. They're actually very fun guns to use, and well, I'm gonna just kind of roll the footage on screen and talk to you guys as it plays. Okay, so firstly, I'm gonna talk about the Parabellum. It is basically a very strong pistol. It's better than the 5.7 AP, minus the fact that it cannot armor pierce. Uh, it's ammo pickup is actually very nice as long as you're as long as you're being conservative with your ammo You should have no issue whatsoever with uh, running out of ammo I mean in the clip I was playing now you can kind of see me running around with just the pistol mainly because uh, While we were recording this me and a uh, sloppy zombie ninja were attempting to unlock the mp40 if you're unaware uh, the how the event is set up you have to use the push daggers to Kill ten enemy or ten cops to unlock the the parabellum. Uh, you kill, I believe it's uh, fifty cops with the parabellum to unlock the MP40, and you use the MP40 to kill a hundred cops to unlock the M1 Grant or the Gallant. Uh, from there, two hundred kills with the Gallant will be enough to get you a trophy in your safe house and some extra coins. Uh, if I'm being honest, though, I can see myself carrying this, uh, the Parabellum quite a long time. I don't know, it may just be me. But in either either case, I mean, that Parabellum's actually really nice. At least on Overkill. I don't know, I don't know how well or how viable it is on 
on, on, on one down because I'm too newbie to play on one down because I suck. I mean, look, 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 look at the, look, look what's playing. I'm just, I'm being a noob. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna absorb all this damage. But, whatever, I mean, f for, for a free pistol, it's actually a pretty damn good pistol, man. Uh, it, it, depending if you like your armor piercing in not, uh, rounds or not, it might even replace the 5.7 AP for you. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's your choice. It's definitely got a lot better ammo pickup than the 5.7 for sure. Uh... Otherwise, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's me personally. I like these World War II weapons. They're just, they're just nice. Okay, so the MP40 is the second weapon brought into the game for this uh, World War II event. Uh, the MP40 basically is a lot like the Swedish K. It handles about the same. It, it shoots about the same. And it's got 40 uh, bullets in it, at least with uh, fully loaded. Anyway. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad of a gun. I mean, it's good. It's probably not the best uh, submachine gun you can actually have. But, I mean, it'll take a few. Sh it'll. It took me about half a clip to down a bulldozer in the face. Uh, so I mean, there's definitely better weapons for sure. Is it something I see myself carrying a lot? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, other than the fact, oh my God, it's an MP40. It's not. It's not very impressive, honestly. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe that's what they wanted. I don't know. If 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 this would have been, you know, an assault rifle class primary or whatever, I kind of could see it being better if they were to have tuned the skills a little bit. That's not. That's also the. That's also assuming the skill or the the point that aren't the stats in these weapons aren't rebalanced later, which they may very well be, because I mean these are some. Pretty overpowered weapons, at least for the, f at least as far as I'm concerned. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But otherwise, the MP40, the reload's kind of eh. It's, I mean, it's a fun gun for sure. If you like MP40s and whatnot, I mean, I like running around shooting people in the face with it. It's not, it, it's, it's a submachine gun, so you need to keep that in mind. It's, it's not all that effective. I mean, it's good if you like spraying and praying, I guess. But I mean, otherwise, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It does, it does a little damage very quickly, so I mean, it's the trade-off. Do I want to do more DPS, or do I want to do more damage per shot, I guess? I don't know. Finally, the, the Galant, or better known as the M1 Grand. Uh, I really, really love this rifle, man. You, 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 if, if you're good with, if you know how to aim down the sight, pick off heads. I mean, dude, you can shoot off anyone's head with this. Uh, it's very quick shoot, shot, it's a very quick shot, yes, it's very, very quick. However, you can go through your clip very, very quickly, which means you do end up spending more time reloading. Speaking of reloading, oh my god, if you, if you, if you empty your clip, uh, you'll have, you'll hear the clip uh, eject, you know, the little ting? Uh, I mean, I'll probably throw up a clip right here to show you what I mean, but... Now... Drop a load on her. It, it, it does the ting. It's like ting. Anyway, uh, another thing to note is it's quicker to reload when the thing's empty rather than when it's full. Yeah, that's that was, that was a little weird. It, I'm sure it's intentional. But I, I'm 100% I'm sure. Uh, yeah. It's uh, like I said. I love this weapon. I love playing it. It's just pink, 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 pink. Well, that sounds like a pig, or whatever. Pike! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's a very fun weapon. I would recommend using this, and maybe with match it with the Luger, and, I mean, you're pretty high damage at that point. Uh, that's, like I said, that's assuming the stats aren't rebalanced. They may very well be. And since this is a three-day event, I expect more weapons as the weekend continues, and in which case, I will be keeping you guys up to date as quickly as I can as soon as I get the weapons uh yeah so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and click that like and subscribe button it helps me out a bunch take it easy